getting right into it, I'm going to pack my toiletries using this bag I got on Amazon several years ago. I think maybe about seven or eight years ago now, and it's similar to the Anya Heimark bag that's about $400. This one costs maybe between 15 and 20. I'll be sure to link the exact one that I purchased, but I love this because it has two different sides. One is deeper, one is more shallow. So you can really pack it for your specific needs. Starting with the deeper side, I actually like to pack my skincare items because I tend to bring more skincare than I do makeup. I always bring some sort of sheet mask because after a couple of days in the sun, my skin definitely needs it on my face. I'm packing a couple of eye masks to moisturize underneath the eye, although I barely ever use these. <laughs> I'm taking also a Tata Harper detox mask. I love Tata Harper. You'll see that most of my products are from her. I'm also taking this Elemis Moisture Essence, which I absolutely love. I'm bringing my Whey Moisturizing Spray for my hair, just because I love the smell of it, not because <laughs> nothing else works, but I just love the smell. Similar to this rose oil, I bought a Briogeo oil that was infused with rose, and I loved it so much that I refilled the bottle just because I love the little rose petals in there. Next is my daily skincare routine that is all by Tata Harper. Like I said, I love Tata Harper products and these bottles came pretty much free with any purchase. So I kind of stacked up on those so that I can reuse them for travel and they work perfectly. They're glass bottles, so do be careful. But one thing you'll see me doing a lot of is rearranging things when I pack. I definitely have to pack like Tetris just to make sure that I can get everything that I need. So you'll see me rearrange several things. This is my Elemis Cleansing Balm, which I use weekly at home, so I have to travel with that. Also a little container that I just put some hair gel into. A lot of times I'll end the trip with my hair in a bun going back. I use contact cases a lot for miscellaneous creams that I use, maybe like under eye cream, things like that. And my Sensodyne toothpaste, and that pretty much completes all of my liquids. I try to keep it at a minimum. Oh, not to forget my contact solution. And now to pack the shallow side. For makeup, I like to bring a lot of samples. I don't wear a lot of makeup, especially when we're traveling. So here are some Byredo lipstick samples that come with their own brush, so I don't have to worry about that. But you can always use your finger, whatever works. I tend to pack my favorite colors when I travel, which is pretty much what I stick to at home. So my three lips are usually a red, a brown, and a berry, so that all bases are covered, whether it's gonna be a formal dinner, casual, or daytime look. Um, I also make sure that I bring an eyebrow brush because, of course, eyebrows. <laughs> and then this is my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which has been my go-to mascara for the past 10 plus years. I love it. Somebody please convince me of something else. And these are two Byredo eyeshadow palettes. One is browns and golds, and the other is more of purpley tones, purples and pinks. Um, so that pretty much covers all bases and can match with any of the lips. I love these cases. I'm just trying to show you a better look here without the plastic, but I do travel and keep the plastic on even at home just to try to make sure that they don't break. I love these containers. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Next, I'm bringing along a little blush with me. It's just a drugstore blush by Milani. And I leave my favorite one at home because I already broke it once. <laughs> a little bit of loose setting powder. This was just an Ulta container that I do refill with one of my favorite loose powders. And this is just a sample container that I kept and used to refill my foundation. I usually put a piece of saran wrap over the containers that carry messy liquids like this just to give me an extra added layer of protection. And this is a sample of a liquid contour that I got and I use it for traveling. I'm going to be so sad when it's out because it's the perfect little size. And I am packing an actual tube of red lipstick because I didn't have a sample of an actual red shade. So that goes in and then also a pencil sharpener for my lip liners and I'm all set as far as toiletries and makeup.
And you can see that I still have some room here. So if you tend to pack a little more than everything that I've already listed, this bag can still work for you. I really wanna give you a good look at the bag itself though, because just so <laughs> you know what you're getting, it's not technically TSA approved, at least I don't think so. I've had issues internationally because they are more strict, but usually flying just domestically, I've had no issues at all with this. Only one side I use for liquids, so it's definitely fine for me if they make me put my items back into like a plastic bag or something, everything always fits. But if you fill both sides, then I don't know if it's actually gonna work for you. I forgot to add a couple of samples of perfume. I love to use samples when I'm gone because I don't have to pack my good stuff, my full size bottles or worry about trying to fit them all in atomizers. I can just take the samples. Here is one of my atomizers that I use and I love certain scents for certain events. So that's probably why I decided to go ahead and pull this one out. And that gives me plenty of options for fragrances while I'm gone. Now, I am all about using whatever you already have rather than going out and buying something new. This is the perfect example. This was actually a pencil case that my daughter just never used, so I repurposed it for myself. I use this as my travel tech case. Starting out here with the flex flap, I love this thing. It's just one of those things that kind of makes life easier. It's not <laughs> a must have, but I love it. It can flex and bend in any kind of direction. And so that can hold any kind of item, whether it's a tech item like your phone or your iPad or holding like a small bag or something like that over a table edge. It's just really convenient. Of course I pack sanitizing wipes so I can keep all of this stuff clean, especially because it's gonna be touching the plane and I keep it right there in the front for easy access. Here's a micro USB cord that I use to charge pretty much any kind of rechargeable device that's not my phone or tablet. I pack all of my chargers in this case. So here's my iWatch charger. This is just a regular USB to lightning, which is used for my iPhone. This is a USB-C charger, which I could use for my iPad, for my camera, for my husband's phone. So I usually bring another one. I think at the very end, I'll pack one in the back that goes to my uh, portable SSD. But here's that for now. And this is my larger portable battery that I love to travel with because it has two different um, ports. So my husband can charge and I can charge at the same time. He never brings a portable charger and he always loses battery. <laughs> this is a Bluetooth camera remote, which I never use because on vacation, everyone is so nice and actually offer to take pictures. But in the rare event, I have to make sure my husband and I get some pictures together when we go on trips. This is my portable light that I've actually had for years and it works so great. It went viral on TikTok recently, but I can actually attest that it does work and it is worth the investment. And this is just the clip to the light. I do bring a couple of extra bricks just to make sure that if I need to charge multiple devices at once, I can. And again, you see me rearranging since I have to put um, one of the bricks in there, I just stack them so that it takes up the least amount of space possible. And for some reason, if I put them in first, then the light fits much easier. <laughs> and then I just sit the clip on the outside and can zip everything up with no issues. These are some Bluetooth microphones that I use for various things. They can connect to your phone, to cameras, just anything really, if you pair it as a Bluetooth. Now that everything is nice and secure, I'm going to fill the last item in the back pocket. I do bring extra cords. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna bring another USB to C cord that I use for my Samsung SSD. This way I can actually utilize the downtime that I'll have in the airport to do a little bit of editing.
out and it's actually a USB C to C cord. So it is different from the one that I packed inside, which is even better because now I know for sure I'm covered for everything that needs a charger. <laughs> And I can't forget my AirPods, which usually stay on me in one of my pockets. Next, I'm packing my dry toiletries in this little bag, which again came as a set. I'm taking my hard bristle brush because when I do wrap my hair in a bun, that's usually what I use. But I also need my Denman travel brush to get through all the detangling before I can actually pull it in a bun. I'm just showing you here that I do keep hair ties on the handles of the brushes for safekeeping. And I bring a small comb, even though a lot of the hotels will provide this, um, I do like certain teeth on combs. I know that sounds funny, but I do. So I'm bringing one that I know works well for me. And I love the Chic Intuition razor because it comes with its own solid shaving cream. And I use these at home all the time, but when I travel, it makes it so easy. I just bring one that already has a razor in it, and then I bring an additional razor. I'm also packing floss because that is a daily essential. Here's some bobby pins and an additional hair tie. Still packing everything as efficiently as possible. I'm going to add my travel toothbrush, which folds nicely, so this easily fits in any bag that I have. And lastly, my travel size native deodorant. I absolutely love these. If you've watched the what's in my bags, I always have one of these tiny little deodorants in my bag and they're so easy to travel with. I usually don't get through both of those on the trip, but for sure I go through one and I like to have them in my bag. So, oh, and Tylenol, you know how I feel. I can't be without it just in case. Since you never know the conditions, I always come prepared with a bonnet, an eye mask for sleep, and also earplugs. And I hold it all together with a silk scrunchie that I use to pineapple my hair before I put my bonnet on at night. I keep a set of makeup brushes specifically just for travel in this old Victoria's Secret makeup brush bag. And it just works so well. I've had it for probably 12 years now. So that stays ready. My husband used to make fun of me for this one, but I have this poncho from Dollar Tree and I actually had to use this one time and got several questions while shopping in Miami about where I got it. So it comes in handy that stays in my suitcases when I travel. And then of course I'm bringing my underwater phone case so that I can always have my phone on me on the beach. Some wet ones, a face mask and some sunscreen chapstick. This is my travel uniform. I try to make sure that I have a lot of pockets, breathable material, quick dry so that no matter what, it's breathable if I'm hot. Um, also, if you sweat or anything, it's quick dry. If it rains, quick dry. Lots of pockets to store all your things. Pockets here, pockets here, pocket here. Well, I can't unzip it with one hand, but it's a large pocket. It goes all the way down here. So I can store passport and things like that. Oh, pants if it's uncomfortable or if it's a little hot, you need breathing room because it's definitely a um, mesh little pocket there. And you know, I just try to make it as cute as possible. I really like these pants, they're new. They have a little drawstring tab here so you can tighten them up if you need to. And that's it. When I get there, I will probably open up the shirt because it's going to be hot, but at least I'm covered. But at least I'm covered while I'm on the plane. So this is that. So this is for on the way back. Similar situation. I know the black is harder to tell, but these are stretch waist pants with a drawstring uh, button down as well. So it's easily, you know, removable. If I get hot, I usually wear a shirt underneath. I have zip pockets on both sides here. I have regular pockets on both sides here. And I have really deep back pockets in the back on both sides here. So, so this is the uniform on the way back. 
and the fact that it's all monochrome just makes it look a little more put together and it's you know a boxy shirt but I tuck it in so that it gives me a little bit of a shape and a waistline and that's it okay this is the disaster before all of the organization I have to get all of this stuff in that suitcase and then I'm going to pack my carry-on which is going to be those two tote bags inside of a canvas tote bag so over here I have a swimsuit for every single day and then one extra I think because it is a little weird fitting I don't know if I'm gonna wear that one but I think it's really cute so I brought one of my old ones to back it up just in case I have all of my underwear socks bras here and I have extra socks for in the hotel room I have three swimsuit cover-ups because one of them can actually be worn like three different ways so that's basically like three in one so I have one for every day there this is going to be my flyback uniform that I showed you earlier and then these are pretty much day cute daytime outfits maybe for lunch at a nice restaurant and then also um, my four evening because we're definitely going to do nice dinners every single day and then I have just two extra casual dresses flowy dresses comfortable ones for breakfast which I probably won't wear so worst case I will be removing those and the belt <laughs> that I need to make one of them actually look decent um, and then over here I have just adventure clothes basically so whether we want to have a workout get a massage go on an excursion I have four really casual outfits uh, basically workout clothes so that's gonna serve dual purposes and then I have some cute casual bags to go with my daytime stuff things that I can wear on the beach I have two pair of sandals one that are really just beach sandals they're my crocs and then this is what are these oh my zimmerman sandals um, that i can pretty much wear with every outfit i'm going to pick one pair of heels i really want to bring these they hurt my feet like crazy but i figure it's probably only going to be for the nice dinners and we're on the resort which can't be too bad of a walk and i did check online they have sidewalks they don't have all sand or stone or um, you know things that will make your heels sink so I can wear heels on the resort these are the other option which I really enjoy the heel they also hurt my feet <laughs> so it's like I'm bringing them to force myself to wear these two I never wear them and if I hate them when I'm there I'm just gonna get rid of them so I think I'm gonna wear these because there is a little silver detail right here and they lace up really cute around the leg these do as well but the strap is a little thinner and they're gold which I'm not bringing a gold bag but I am bringing a bag that has a little gold detail and I'm also bringing a bag that has a little silver detail so this one has silver which I think would look cute with the silver detail on the brown shoes but this has gold which is more of my style anyway um, but I just I don't know I don't know so we'll see let's see how everything fits and depending on how they fit that might determine which shoes I bring actually because these have knots in several places and they're squared so they take up a little bit more space than these that are pointed they're very thin so I might have to bring those just because of space so let's see so I'm starting off with my piles <laughs> my piles of packing cubes so i definitely love using packing cubes it helps save a lot of space those were the first ones i ever got that were decent i didn't get them on amazon i think i got them from either target or walmart and they're very 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 thin but the zippers are strong they have the breathable holes so it compresses very well um i think i gave one to nelson and now i don't know where it is but it does come in a pack of three these over here same thing I gave one to him and I do know where it is but I think he needs to use it for this trip so I have these two I don't really use this one unless it's going to be just for like underwear um, because it's so long and skinny it's kind of awkward but I think maybe for swimsuits or something I can do that I do try to categorize a little bit and then these are the ones I got more most recently so they're compression cubes and you can pack them and then I think I have one open since I only have one hand right here. Hold on. I don't. I do. <laughs> okay. 
So this one, as you can see, is unzipped and you can pack it as deep as you need to and then zip it up and it'll compress. Now, it's a little strange. Sometimes it compresses on the sides, but it's still pretty bulky in the middle. And then sometimes if you don't need to compress it, I feel like it's taking up space because as small as it is, there is an extra bit of material here. Whereas these are so thin, they're like paper thin. And so I feel like those really, and they're easy to conform. So once your clothes are in there, you can kind of mash them around. So I think I'm gonna try to use those first. And then if I need to, I can go to these. I'm just not sure. They're, they're also a lot heavier, they're thicker. They are waterproof, so they're more durable, but they're less breathable. I don't know. I really don't know. I used them once. I think they did a great job with the compression. I just don't know overall how I'm feeling about that. So I'll probably use a combination. And then I have some shoe bags over here. I probably will change because the shoe bags that I have right now are thick cotton ones. And these are really thin, whatever this, you know, nylon or whatever that material is. So these are really thin. I'll probably change the shoe bags to save space as well. Worst case scenario, which is what I kind of bring as a backup anyway, are these vacuum bags that I travel with during the winter because we have to fit all of the kids' clothes and we don't check bags. <laughs> so with six of us traveling, we use these Ziploc bags that will vacuum seal themselves, basically. You fill them up, you roll the air, and somehow the air comes out, but it doesn't go back in. And those are awesome. So I usually pack one of these just in case if we go shopping, if I wanna bring back any souvenirs, I'll definitely be able to get all my clothes back. Okay, let's pack. I'm starting with my undergarments in this tiny little bag. And you'll see a few things that I do. Sometimes I fold, sometimes I roll. It's a combination of the two. And here you'll see me unroll my socks except for the one that I put in the bra to help keep it shaped, but I'll unroll my socks and lay them flat because it just saves so much more space. Little things really do matter when you're carrying on only. <laughs> so I have to think about all the little details. I grouped all of my swimsuits and the cover-ups in this elongated bag just to try to keep everything together and organized. And in the medium size bag, I put all of my casual clothes, my workout clothes, again, keeping some sort of organization, but you'll see me rearrange things when it makes sense. And in the second medium sized bag, I'm putting all of my dressier outfits. So my dresses, my skirt sets, and then also a nice pair of slacks that I brought. The level of skill for this. Okay, so my Gucci hat gave me such a hard time and now I know how to pack it. I have to fold it, make sure everything is nicely folded, and then put it in a dust bag. I have a dust bag from a by far bag and it fits perfectly, but I figured out I have to have the tip of the hat line up to the corner of the bottom of the bag in order to make it fit. So I put that in one of my packing cubes and what you'll see is me pack it into the suitcase in the most protective way in just a little bit. Here I'm trying to see if I can consolidate any of the accessories and shoes, which I did end up cutting the brown pair of shoes from this trip. I'm keeping all of the bags though. They're very small so I can accommodate those. <laughs> The packing cube with my hat will go face down just in case anything does spill and seep through the zippers. It will be the last thing <laughs> that gets touched. I don't really bring too many luxury items on overseas beach trips, but I do really love that hat because of the amount of sun protection that it gives me. 
So everything else, again, fitting in like Tetris and look at the amount of work that I had to do to get everything to fit so perfectly. I tried the brown shoes and this is where I really just decided to leave them, but this was so funny to me watching back. <laughs> I'm really trying to make it all work. After all that, I forgot my undergarments, the whole bag. <laughs> so here we go again, trying to piece it all together. Which actually helped me out because I forgot to put those shoes in a shoe bag. And it was a success. Since I'm using my white Celine bag as a carry-on, I'm putting my Lou and Gray shopping bag on the outside just for protection and putting both of my Loewe bags on the inside just to keep those safe. So now I can put my actual items for carry-on inside. I add my liquid toiletries, my camera, my tech case, I put some sunglasses and everything fits upright so that I can easily access anything at any given time. Here's some more wet ones just for sanitation and then I keep this uh, catch-all bag basically in and sit it on the side. Again, easy access, but I have some Dramamine, some Tylenol, my Laneige lip mask. No, that's the chapstick. <laughs> my Byredo hand cream, another chapstick. I have some mints, I have a pen, I have my AirPods. So any and everything that I'm gonna need on the actual flight will go in a catch-all. And of course I will put my laptop inside and then any reading material I sit on top. I also have this long scarf that I got from Lululemon years ago that I use either as a scarf, a beach cover up or a blanket on the plane. It has so many uses. I have been searching for more of these and have not been able to find them, but be on the lookout for those. They're so great. And we are all packed. Can you believe it? Good morning. Today is the day we go to Antigua. This is my airport outfit. Notice the black socks for security going through that dirty floor. Plenty of pockets. I have my passport right here and it is currently 3.23 so we have two minutes to get out. 